Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. So, I got a call today. Well, it was actually yesterday. I talked to the homeowners and I decided to go out there today and get it. It was a swarm, late season swarm. Uh, they had uh, seen it two days ago and uh, it stayed around for three days. So when I got out there, of course, it had made comb and it was pretty much, you know, take the comb down, shake them in a box and take them out and uh, cage the queen, all that good stuff. Brought them home and they decided to uh, leave the box. But the good thing about it was, was the queen was still in the box and the cage in the uh, clip. So uh, they left, pitched on a uh, tree, I don't know, probably 30 yards away from the hive. And then they made their way back. And I just took them out of the back of the truck and put them over there where they're gonna be at for a little bit. And I decided to look at some of the footage from the day and no audio. Uh, I had my headset on today, talking on the phone on the way over there. When I got there, I didn't cut my headset all, off, so uh, I don't get don't have any audio. Got beautiful 4K video, but no audio. So I'm gonna have to do some voiceover on it. But uh, I also have my my little handheld camcorder going and. It died too, so today was not a good day for videos, but I'm going to piece together what I can to uh, make that video happen. But the reason for this video is I got a question for you. How many of y'all use plastic foundation over wax foundation? When I first started beekeeping, I ordered some, uh, some plastic foundation and I had very little success with it the bees didn't like to draw it out or something uh, so i kind of abandoned it but i see other people now and talk to some people that have a good you know success with the uh the plastic foundation so uh that's what this video is about comments below tell me what you use do you have better uh success with the uh, plastic foundation or the wax foundation uh do you think the wax foundation or the plastic foundation is worth another try? I know they make the, the black and they also make it in a yellow color too. I know the black's a little bit better as far as, you know, looking at eggs and all that other good stuff. But uh, tell me what you think. Plastic or uh, wax foundations? What is your preference? And uh, what's your success and failure rate with either one of them? Uh, leave it in the comments below. I'm going to have to make some orders here before too long as far as uh, what I'm going to do for next year. I'm really going to try to keep the beekeeping in the bud again next year. Uh, trying to get out of this slump that I'm in. Uh, so now's the time if you're thinking about getting into beekeeping or whatever, now is the time to do it. Order your materials now. Uh, that way you can get them in, get them painted, get everything assembled. If you're doing, when you're doing your frames and stuff, glue your frames. Glue them and staple them or nail them, whatever you're gonna do, but glue them. I've got some frames that I've got when I first started beekeeping that I did not glue and they're coming apart. So uh, glue them, staple them, or screw them. But the biggest thing with the frames is glue. Glue, glue, glue. But uh, leave in the comments below, plastic or wax foundation. Let me know what you think.